It's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Saturday. You know what that means? It's time for Saturday Morning Serials. As always, I'm your host, Captain Cartoon. Welcome to Platoon. Thanks for hanging out this morning again. You guys are awesome. I can't stress that enough how great you guys are. Uh, you guys all reach out and have nothing but positivity to say. Thank you. Man, yeah. I've had two negative comments in the entire time I'm doing this, and eh, I'm not worried about it. Because so you guys far outweigh with the, with the positivity. So, here we go. Saturday Morning Serial is brought to you by Are You Game, the best comic book collectible video game toy store located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. You can find us on Facebook. And uh, you can contact me through there at are you game a r e letter u g a m e because uh, I had to be different. So I decided to switch up some stuff the other day when I was putting this show together. Um, there is literally no rhyme or reason to this episode. Uh, the last one at least had cartoons that I sort of allotted together before, like Fantastic Voyage and and Journey to the Center of the Earth, and nope. There's no rhyme or reason to this episode. Uh, I just decided to put something together different. Uh, I was going to say there's no 90s cartoons, but there's one 90s cartoon. So. <clears throat> and I'm sorry for last week. Uh, I know we were an episode short. Uh, the episode I was trying to air was Ronin Warriors. Uh, because... Ronin Warriors isn't allowed. Every time I, sometimes I throw a ball and see what hits the wall and sometimes stuff doesn't stick. Most of the time it does. This time it didn't. So, here we go, guys. First episode out of the gate is Josie and the Pussycats because people have been asking for it, where it's at. I was like, alright, I will bring it back. And we're doing episode 6, X marks the spot. Enjoy.
Puddle Town, gang. It's about time. Wake me when we get there. I'm going to recline my seat and take a nap. Ouch! Who said ouch? I, I said ouch. Well, who are you? And how did you get aboard our bus? I am Professor Belfort, and I boarded your bus because I was being pursued by the invisible Mr. X. Invisible Mr. X? Who's he? Mr. X was my laboratory assistant. You see, I was experimenting on a formula of invisibility. I tested the formula on one of my lab specimens. Success! He became invisible. Golly! Do you mean invisible, invisible? You're putting us on, aren't you? No, no, it's true. That night, my untrustworthy assistant sneaked back into the lab. <laughs> he drank the formula and rendered himself invisible. <laughs> now he intends to use his invisibility in a diabolical scheme to obtain secret information for his own benefit. If he's already invisible, why is he pursuing you now, Professor? Because he knows I have created this formula which will make him visible and spoil his evil plans. Wow, you are in trouble, Professor. Why don't you let us hold your formula for safekeeping? Is safekeeping sort of like housekeeping? If Mr. X catches up with you, at least we can get the formula to the authorities. That's an excellent idea. I'll be the one to hold on to it. And for the time being, you'll be safe with us while we do our gig in Puddle Town. We'll go inside and see if Belfort is still with those meddling kids. I'll apply bandages and wear gloves so I can accompany you. Let's go. Look, there's Professor Belfort with some of the kids. After the pussycats start playing, watch for my signal and we'll put my plan into action. <laughs> Here we 
are, gang. The local constabulary. I thought we were going to the police. Oh, Melody, in England, policemen are called constables. Sounds silly to me. <laughs> uh, this Mr. X is invisible, and he's going to use his invisibility for evil purposes. And he's already abducted Professor Belfour. And now, he's trying to get Professor Belfour's answer to a formula, which we have, and... Oh, golly, we must have interrupted a training session. Here's another constable all tied up and a gag in his mouth. I'm the real constable. Those are imposters. Let's grab them. There's only two of them and three of us. Correction, two of us, because I'm leaving. I left the bus double parked. Chicken. You folks aren't going anywhere. I think he's right. I wonder what's taking them so long. Help! 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 That's what's taking them so long. Let's go. They vanished. No, but they're vanishing. Look, what gives? There's something rotten in Denmark. Uh, I, I mean, England. Come on, let's follow them. Help! Help! Hurry, Josie. Hurry! Oh, golly. It, it won't start. There's a hill ahead, Alan. Let's push it to get it started. Uh. 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 Yay, it started. Hey, Josie, wait for us. Oh, no. Josie, stop! I, I can't stop! Sebastian, sneak out of this rolling jail cell and let the others know where we're being taken. Know what 
what it is. Nonsense. If it didn't hurt Mr. X, it won't hurt us. There's not enough there for all of us. We'll just have to make do. Well, here's looking at you. Ooh, there was only enough to make half of me invisible. Me too. My middle's missing. <laughs> all it did was to make me transparent. They must have doubled back. Find them. Yikes! Let's cut out, cats! Wow! The trail leads into this old castle. Keep a sharp eye out for the Invisible Man. Just how do you keep a sharp eye out for an Invisible Man? <laughs> oh, goody. I'm thirsty. What are you fixing? I'm mixing the professor's antidote formula to return us to normal. Oh, with Alexander transparent, I can't read this last ingredient. I'll just have to fake it. Here, Alex, drink this. Are you kidding? I would... It's for your own good. Now, where's Mr. X and his creepy henchmen? Let me at them. Where are they? I'll give them the old one, two, three times. Here they come. I'll give them the old karate chop. Hey, I'll... I'll find us a safe place to hide. Ooh, the brave potion wore off. Golly, I can see my middle again. That invisible potion is worn off. A lot of good it'll do us. We're boxed in a dead-end room. Seems like we've looked everywhere. Well, where do we go from here? Look, maybe this lever opens a secret panel. Uh-oh, here they come. How about that? It opened a secret ceiling. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Put them in the dungeon, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, is everybody comfy? If I could get out of these stocks, I'd knock your block off. How do you turn on the air conditioning in this Iron Maiden? This rack is kind of lumpy. How about a pillow? You'll never get away with this. Will you? I demand to see... <laughs> to see my lawyer! <laughs> If you decide to tell me where the formula is, just scream. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Get me out of this mahogany necklace. <coughs> Hurry, and we'll free the others. Sebastian, you little furry lock picker. What, what do we do now? Valerie and I have a plan for capturing Mr. X and his henchmen. Right. I'll motorize this suit of armor and send it after them. While you're doing that, we'll try to find Professor Belfour. Now don't do anything till we get back. The vacuum cleaner motor's hooked up. It's just about ready. Let me have the remote controls, Alexandra. I'll test it now. Oh, why waste time testing? I can operate it. Let Valerie test it, sis. You'll goof up for sure. I don't know why you wanted to test it first. It works fine. I hope so. It'll be back with Mr. X and his henchmen any minute now. Yikes, you can say that again. Look! After him! for making a stool pigeon robot. I told you we should have tested it first. <laughs> please, please, girls, run now, argue later. No trace of Professor Belfour anywhere. Hey, what's up, cats? Stop and take a look around you. Listen to your heart. Stop, look at this. I am moving tear a love apart. Tear a love apart.
do appreciate you youngsters capturing Mr. X and his henchmen and rescuing me. We were glad we could help, Professor Belfour. How long will Mr. X remain invisible? This antidote will make him visible again, right now. Let me have it. I'll make him drink it. No, no, you don't drink it. You spray it on. Watch. Meddling kids. Golly, that made him appear again. And now I'll make him disappear again for a good many years in jail. Boy. All this running around has left me thirsty. Here's some of my potion left that changed our personalities. If Alan drinks it, maybe he'll switch his attentions from Josie to me. Here, Alan, dear. I'll give Alan a drink, Josie. Ooh! Hey! Cut it out! Ouch! Ouch! Cut it out! You big metal wolf! Ouch! Streaking ones, play shampoo, and all this. Barbie sold separately. Hey, I hope you're still liking the Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, I do. Fun cartoon. The fact that it's got, like, legit music. And they, they really tried, man. Back in the, the, the late 60s, early 70s, man, you had the Archies that had real, you know, kind of really put a band together. Josie and the Pussycats really put a band together. The Hardy Boys, like you seen last week. Definitely tried to put a band together. So, all right. So, everybody who asked me about my cat, I posted this last night. I'll tell you all again today. My cat was dead quiet. Not my cat. My cat's around here somewhere. My wife's cat was dead quiet. I turned on the camera and the microphone. Immediately, the cat started meowing. I, I know it's dumb, but I think that's what it is. I think it's something electrical that causes the cat to freak out. So, now you, I, I, maybe I know, but it was. It was almost instantaneous. As soon as I turned that camera on, boom, that cat starts meowing. So, here we go, guys. I'm going to bring you back something that some of you guys have loved. Some of you guys asked me when I was bringing it back. Um, some, of you, some of you don't like it, and I get it. Whatever. Um, I apologize, then. If you don't want to watch it, I'll give you a heads up. We're, we brought back Kissy Fur for the week. Uh, I haven't aired Kissy Fur for a long time, but people are asking for it. So I'll bring it back. Um, and this is Kissy Fur. And this is technically episode 19, which is season 2. And it's the new cub and comrade Kissy Fur. Enjoy.
kitchen. I got it. Hey, oh, you can't it. out the oh, oh, no. oh. 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 This doesn't look like the swimming hole. Hi there. Why, hello there, little mongoose. I'm over here, and I'm a bear. My name's Kissifer. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Hi, my name's Toot. Nice to meet you, Toot. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> Messing up our swamp ball game. Well, well, a squirrel. Uh-uh, I'm a rabbit. I'm bee honey. Oh, uh, and a, a dog. <laughs> oh, a porcupine. My name's Stucky. And a possum. I am a pig. My name is Dwayne. And a hippopotamus? Hey, watch it, bub. What, what are you? I'm a mole. My name's Randolph. And who are you? Oh, that's a tree trunk, Randolph. This guy's blind as a bat. Oh, I thought he said he was a mole. Hey, can I join your swamp ball game? No, no, no way. way. Wait a minute. That's not being friendly. I think we should give him a chance. Sure, Randolph. You can play with us. Hey, thanks, Stucky. No, I'm Kissy Fur. Kissy Fur. Yay! That's oh, what I Keep playing. Forget it. Adios, suckers. Uh, Kissy Fur, I, I think I hear my mom calling. Gotta go. Bye. Yeah, Kissy Fur, me too. Yes, and I simply have to go take a bath. Bye. And I have to go uh, uh, count my quills. Uh, see you later. Hey, wait a minute. Gee, where'd everybody go? I guess they're all just sore losers. I know. Why don't you and I play hide and go seek together? Okay, Randolph. I'll go hide. You're it. I'll count to a hundred. One, two, ninety-nine, one hundred. Ready or not, here I come. Aha! Gotcha! Come on, Kissy Fur! I gotcha! Give up! There, Jolene. Yummy, Floyd. Dinner. <laughs> Go get him. <gasps> Floyd, you done messed up again. That was fun, but now I gotta be heading home, old buddy. See you in the morning, okay? Yeah, sure. Not if I can help it. Oof. In a hurry, are you, son? Kind of. I gotta meet the gang. We're going on a picnic. Bye, Dad. Can't see far. It's Randall. You wanna play? Dad. Tell him I'm not here. What's wrong, Kissy Fur? It's Randolph, the new cub. He's a nice guy, but he can't see a thing. He's no fun. Son, you have to learn to appreciate your friends for what they can do, not what they can't do. Now go play with the new cub and make me proud of you. Well, okay. Hiya, Kissy Fur. Guess you didn't hear me knocking, huh? I'm over here, Randolph. That's my dad. Oh. Sorry, sir. This here's the perfect trap, Floyd. 
You're sure right, Jolene. A fowler could walk right up on it and never even know it was here! Floyd! <laughs> yeah, Jolene. You dumber than dirt! you bring the nerd? Well, uh, because, uh, because my dad says we have to learn to appreciate our friends for what they can do, not what they can't do. What? Uh-oh. I accidentally knocked over the picnic basket. I'm sorry. That's okay, Randolph. I'll get it. That does it. Hey, Randolph, want to do us a favor, huh? Sure. Go in the woods and get us a bunch of snipe berries, okay? Snipe berries? They're pink with purple polka dots. You can't miss them. Oh, Annie, I've never heard of snipe berries before. That's because they don't exist. <laughs> Lenny, that was a mean trick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I forgot to ask Lenny how many snipe berries we need. I'm telling you, it's a great way to get rid of them. Looking for snipe berries will keep Randolph out of our hair for the rest of the picnic. <laughs> well, it's still a rotten trick. Where's Randolph? Lenny told him to... He, uh, wanted to go pick us some berries. He's gonna meet us later at the picnic spot. Let's get moving. <laughs> That was really nice of Randolph to go pick berries for us. Well, he didn't exactly go because he wanted to. Yeah, Lenny told him to go look for snipe berries. What? There's no such thing. You did that just to get rid of him. Ah, uh, so what? He couldn't see berries if they were as big as a swamp. <laughs> it worked! It worked! Mm -hmm. There'll be fiddles on the table tonight! Oh no, gators! Boy, and I thought they were my friends. I guess I'm just a loser. <laughs> hey, what's that? It sounds like my buddies need help! <laughs> There's enough food here to last weeks, Jolene. It'll take us at least a month to finish eating that warthog. Hey, I resent that. <laughs> Randolph, what are you doing here? Saving my friends. What else? You are? But how can you do anything like that? Hey, above ground, I'm a klutz. I can't help it. But in the dirt, that's where I really shine. Right here, we can tunnel through and escape. Are you sure? I'm a mole, trust me, I know my dirt. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Seems mighty quiet all of a sudden, don't it, Jolene? Sure do. He's gone! Come on, everybody. He'll be here soon. 
Hey, what's all this? It's a party! For who? For Randolph! You were right, Dad. He does a lot of things real well. Right, Lenny? Yeah, yeah, kissy face. The little guy's okay. Here he comes now. Oh, surprise! surprise! Ah! Oh! Gee, all this for me? Three cheers for Randolph, our hero! I just had a bath last year. Oh, it sounds like something's wrong, dear. Look, Dad, it's a spaceship. Hmm, I wonder what it's doing here in Paddle Cab County. Come, let's get a closer look. Wait a minute. I'm going to investigate this thing first. <laughs> No kidding. There's only one thing to do. What's that, Dad? You go investigate. Seems okay so far. Ooh, what was that? Ah, a space monster! No, no, calm down, everybody. We won't get anywhere jumping to conclusions. I just saw a Martian mud monster with a zillion eyeballs! Dad, are you okay? Oh, I guess so, Kissy Fur. Come on, let's mosey on home. Dad, could there really be a space monster out there in the woods? Maybe so, son. Should we be scared? Nope. Not till we know whether or not there's anything to be scared of. There I was! Face to face with the scariest monster in space! Ew! I bet it was covered with germs. Lenny, how come nobody but you saw it? Because, Bee Honey, I gave it this, yeah, and this. Whoa. Hey, what's that? It's the space monster! I'm Kissifer, 
This is Bihani, Dwayne, Chu. I'm Stucky. Uh -huh. And that's Lenny. Ah! It's the Space Monster's head! <laughs> but the rest of its body is gone! Ah! Uh oh, I've got a feeling we're gonna have some trouble. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, this space creep is probably a spy for the humans. Yeah, let's tie him up before he makes monkeys out of all of us. <laughs> no, Yuri is our friend. Some friend. He kicked me like a wild monkey. Hey, stand back, you cubs, if you know what's good for you. See, that was pretty good. <laughs> now, what's going on here? Scram, fubbag. We're getting rid of this here space spy. Who are you calling a fur bag? Did I say fubbag? <laughs> uh, I didn't actually mean to say fubbag. Yeah! Has this monkey done anything wrong? No way, Dad. Then as far as I'm concerned, he's welcome here in Paddle Cab County as our guest. Wow, space food! Forget eating for once, will you? Follow me. Oh. What's this? Give me that, will ya? It's some kind of spy gizmo. I'm glad I found it. Way to go, Dad! Now, let's sneak out of here quietly. When you're being a good spy catcher, son, you gotta be able to slip in and out of secret places. Well, you can't get any more slippery than us, huh, Dad? <laughs> you idiot. Your capsule landed over here, Yuri. <gasps> Quick, let's get out of here. Gosh, Yuri, do you really have to go home? Yes, friend Stucky. Soon humans will look for me. If they find me here, we'll discover you as well. I cannot have that. I know. Would you like to help repair capsule? Yeah! Gosh, Yuri, this is me. I sure wish I could go for a ride in it. Maybe someday, little Bruin, you will be part of American Space Program. Hey, Yuri, what's this? Yike! Big trouble, Dushka! My SOS transmitter is gone and someone has turned it on! What does that mean? That means the humans will come look for me soon. We have to work fast. Command control, we've got a Russian capsule SOS transmitter signal over. We copy. You better launch a robot probe. Roger, one robot probe to go. Wh what's that? It's robot probe sent by humans to find me. Boy, it's sure doing a bad job. It looks for missing SOS transmitter. We must follow it. I told you that monkey would bring trouble. What? Ah! Come with me, comrade Kissifer. I might need co-pilot. You mean we're gonna fly? All right! What's going on? Oh, oh What's my! Going on? Ah, get me out of here! Uh oh, it's broken stabilizer. I must go fix. Comrade Kissifer, you take over. Huh? But, but. Thank 
you, comrade Kisifer. Feel so spacey. Yeah, and weightless. Ugh, not to me. Gosh, Yuri, don't you want to stay here with us animals? Civilization is not so bad for me, little Bruin. Maybe one day you'll visit my homeland. It's a deal. Glad I met Yuri. Now I know I can be close to someone no matter where they're from. <laughs> That's my boy. Come on, Terry. We just want to make sure there's nothing serious. Well, look, Dad. I'm as good as new. Nothing's wrong with me. Let's get out of here, okay? The doctor will see you now, Terry. <laughs> Why she's acting? You think our dad was gonna throw her to hungry alligators? A fun play. If you're sick, the doctor's gonna help you. You know your parents wouldn't take you someplace to hurt you. Just wait. So you can do all the things he likes to do. Remember, your parents and the doctor only mean for you to feel good. There's nothing scary about that. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, even the show was a breeze. Now, what's this I hear about going to the dentist? That's one to grow. You know, I was always amazed that they were able to take Akira, which is a lot of volumes, and make a two-hour movie out of it. That's just crazy to me. There's a lot of information in Akira the comics that's not there in Akira the movie. So, I'm bringing you yet another cartoon I haven't aired for quite some time. That's Mork and Mindy. Uh, part of the Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, uh, Happy Day Gang hour. Um, so I'm bringing you some Mork and Mindy. Uh, and again, no rhyme or reason to this episode at all. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure when I was a little kid, I had Mork and Mork from Mork suspenders. I kind of remember them. And, uh. Because that's just how I was when I was a little kid. I was a complete nerd. Still a complete nerd. But I am a happy nerd and I don't care. So this is Mork and Mindy. This is Super Mork and Invisible Mork. Enjoy. <laughs> Yes, your menseness? You won't learn anything about that planet playing games. Go enroll in school. So I can learn to play games? No, 
I mean a regular school. Now go find yourself a place to stay and get hoppy. Just make yourself at home more. Rain spoils annual school picnic. Gosh, Allison, I wish we had time to chase down a real news story. We would, if that good-for-nothing Mort would do the dirty work. Now what? Ow! Oh! Oh! It's your fault. Every time you're around, disaster strikes. I'm calling the repairman. And don't touch anything. Oh, you can count on me, boss type person. That does it, you incompetent twit. You're fired from the school paper. Oh, Mark. Oh, bummer, doing. I feel like something the cat threw out. Oh, all I want to do is help Mindy and get a real news story. Oh, gosh. Wish I was like Super Guy. He never goofs up. I told you, Mark. No wishes before 10 a.m. orc time. I'm trying to sleep. Oh, many sorrows, your grogginess. It's just that if I had superpowers like Super Guy, I could really help my Mindy. Very commendable, Mark. I'll beam you a superpower Super Guy suit immediately. <laughs> Wow, doing a super-powered super guy suit, just like the suit that gives super guys superpowers. Isn't that super? Just don't let it fall into the wrong hands, Mark. You can count on me, your infallibleness. Wow! Finally, a hot scoop. So, what's up, man? I am after a big story. Someone stolen a plank's armored truck full of gold. I've got to go. Automatic, a robber. This is a job for Super Guy. Faster than a speeding ticket. More powerful than a train. Able to leap tall. Basket hoops with a single bound. Wonder if Super Guy started this way. Hey, Doyne. I think I'm. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it. Keep your eyes peeled for suspicious truck nappers. Has that? There they are. The perfect heist. Mr. Bing will be proud of us, Major. Wow! That's the stolen Plink's truck. I don't believe what I'm seeing. It's it's Super Guy. Super Guy to the rescue. Down, down, and away. What's that? I don't know. Looks like some guy in red long johns to me. Oh, hey, Slim. Hey, uh, Super Guy, watch out for that building. Building? Where? But the Plink's truck is on the brink of disaster. No! Oh, hey, darling. Superheroes even have to rescue super crooks. I got it. I got it. Oh, it got me. Let's scram. This guy's unreal. Super guy, are you all right? Nothing faces a super guy, little lady. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Mindy McConnell, a, a reporter from Mount Mount Mirror. <laughs> Listen, could, could you tell me the secret of your superpowers? Psst. All my superpowers are in my super suit. Wow, what a story! So all your powers are in your suit, huh? Super! Ah, so that's his secret. Come on. When I was 13 years old, my mom bought me my first pair of shorts and... Okay, meathead. I'll make the phone call. You do the rest. Yup, gotcha. When I was 21, I got my first pair of diapers. 
<laughs> it's for you, super guy. Oh, thank you, little lady person. Be right back, Miss Mindy. This is Super Mario. I, I mean, Super Guy. Turn around and look down the street, Super Fool. Your reporter friend is gone. You want to back safe? You show up at the 13th floor of the Black Tower building. Mr. Big will be waiting. I tell you, Mr. Big, this Super Guy is for real. All of his powers are in his super suit. And if we had it, we could bust a divorce like that. He's coming here, and we gotta get his suit. Oh, yeah? Sounds like a lot of hogwash, but... If he can get through my super defenses, then I'll believe you. <laughs> it's the super guy, and he's in the elevator shaft. These crooked chromics expect me to strike from above, so I'll surprise him and attack from below. The surprise is on you, super guy. We're going up, and the elevator's coming down. Don't panic, little pooch pal. Super guy can handle this. Down, please. I've come down to your level, Mr. Big. Now surrender in the name of truth, justice, mom, and apple pie. Naughty, naughty, no, no, Mr. Big Person. The superheroes never fall for that old trap door trick. <laughs> Back up, Doyne, quick. I got it, Mr. Big. I got the super suit. Excellent. But that suit will soon own all of Boulder City. Yeah, well, you'll never get away with it, Mr. Big. Behold, I am Super Big. And now to begin my super crime spree. Throw the girl in the trap and meet me at the gold reserve. <laughs> Get your hands off me, you creep. Hi, Min. Sorry I messed up your rescue. Mark? You're the masked hero? Oh, some superhero, Min. I'm, I'm nothing but a super flop. Orson's gonna splunk me for losing his super suit. Oh, desperation. Uh, uh, oh, I feel like the walls are closing in around me. They are. Mork, get a hold of yourself. Thanks, Min Min. I needed that. And now for a brainstorm of my own to get us out of here. Abandoned felt door. Mork, what do we do now? Oh, we stopped that, Super Crook. My flying days aren't over yet. Ha-ha! Nothing can stop me now! There he is, Mork. Throwing to the roof of the gold reserve. And he's got the gold boat! Here comes Mr. Big. He has my super suit, but I've still got my super fingers. Well, that about covers it, Min Min. Up, up, and ribbon! Uh-oh, Min. I think I made him mad. An orc car can stand any shock, Min. It's the aftershock that doesn't end. Well, at least you made a soft landing. And now to finish you off. Those bananas ought to give him the slip. Uh -oh. Super suit, it's off to the big house for Mr. Big. Help! Fireman Mork to the rescue. Help! Help! Get me down! Super going, Mork. 
You proved you're a superhero just by being yourself. Gosh, that's Superman. Yes, your immenseness? You won't learn anything about that planet playing game. Go enroll in school. So I can learn to play games? No, I mean a regular school. Now go find yourself a place to stay and get hoppy. Just make yourself at home more. Gotta run. See ya. Yeah, I guess she got the word. What word? About you and me going steady. Rocky, we are not going steady. And you're not going to force me to go out with you. Well, you better not go out with anybody else. Because if I find you with another guy, it's going to be too bad for him. No. Huh? Oh. Mork, you better get out of here before Rocky sees you. He insists that he and I are going steady. Let another guy near me. Oh, he must be kidding, Min. You know how guys are. Anything for a laugh. <laughs> I'll get for a laugh, Shrimpo. You must be Rocky. Hi there. I think you mean goodbye there. Yeah, Mindy and me's going steady. Anybody comes between us, it's squash. Expression of sudden thought. I have a spiffy way to solve this whole problem. How about we have a wrestle, Marsh? The winner gets me. A wrestling match? <laughs> you got yourself a deal, worm. The winner dates Mindy forever. Now, wait a minute. Let's shake on it. Yeah, he better be, because if he don't show up at the school gym this afternoon, he's forfeit, and we go steady forever. <laughs> oh, no. In case you don't know it, Rocky is the school wrestling champ. Y you mean wrestle, Min. Wrestle Marsh. I was a champ on Ark. I can beat him with one hand tied behind my foot. Oh, those are jacks. You challenged Rocky to a wrestling match. And the way we play it here is Rocky ties your whole body in knots and then jumps on you. Hard. Gosh, little mama, that's cheating. Fixing myself a clever zit to give me extra energy for the wrestle matching this afternoon. Let's see, it's got burlip, tesorgan, chistrum. Should have some hat split, but I couldn't find any, so I'm using strawberries instead, just to give me a little zip. Well, we better clean up this mess before my father sees it. Grief. It's an organ allergy. It must be allergic to strawberries. It comes and goes here, there, sometimes everywhere. Oh, boy. Now what are we going to do? Oh, not to worry, man. It'll wear off. When? Oh, that's hard to say. Oh, no. If you don't show up for the wrestling match, I'll be stuck with Rocky for life. I'm taking you to the doctor. Oh, 
the doctor will see you now. <laughs> How do you do? Which one of you is the patient? He is. Hmm. How long has he been this way? Uh, about an hour. But before that... What? He... Oh, good. Now I can take his pulse. It was the strawberries, Doc. I must be allergic to them. Hmm. Strawberries, you say? Excuse me, son. I'll be right back. Call the police. Then get the Department of Defense, the CIA, and the FBI. Tell them I have the perfect spy, an invisible man. And make sure they bring lots of strawberries. Why are we leaving, men? Mm, because I've got a feeling the doctor was stalling to keep us there for some reason. <laughs> They just left. You can still catch him. What did he look like? You can't miss him. He's invisible. Where is that shrimp? He won't show up. He's chicken. If he don't, it's me and Mindy from now on. Hi there, fellas. You are late. Oh, you should have started without me. I'd catch up. Uh -oh. All right, cut the gab. You both know the rules. Well, not really, but if you give me a couple of weeks, I'm sure I'll... Yeah, two falls out of three. Go to the corner and we'll wait for the bell. <laughs> Go to your own corner. Oh, just trying to be friendly. Uh -huh. Oh, Mark, be careful. Oh, don't worry, men. I'll blind him with footwork. First fall, Rocky! You're right, men. This isn't Wrestle Marsh. It isn't worth it, Mark. Let's call it off right now. Oh, and let that gorilla have you for life? Not in a million bleams, man. Doesn't mean we're engaged. We haven't even had dinner yet. To the mat! Hit him to the mat! Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha, man. No, no! His shoulders! Jump on his shoulders! Second call, Mark! Nothing anybody couldn't have done with great coordination, quick wit, and allergy to strawberries. Whoa, what happened? Mark pulled one of his facey tricks on you. Oh, yeah? From now on, it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. That's him, all right. We'll pick him up when this is over. If there's anything left to pick up. <laughs> okay, wise guy, you're finished. <laughs> no more. I quit. That space you wear is too tricky. He's an alien. You're the alien, Hamilton. Mork's a, 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 a magician. He just made everybody think he disappeared. Right, Mork? Huh? 
Oh, 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 yeah. <gasps> right, little mama. Hello. Uh -huh. And to prove it, he's going to do another great trick right now. I am? I, I mean, I am? Uh, anybody out there got a top hat? <laughs> I'm glad this is extra large, Hammy. Your head needs it. Abracadabra, hocus hocus, shalva. Wait till the Sarge hears this. He'll arrest that quack doctor. <laughs> Your allergy can't wear off too soon for doing and me more. Yep, and remind me to never eat another strawberry. <laughs> uh oh. Nanu, nanu. Fort Gilliam, from fort to town to battleground. Brave Star. Fort Gilliam, Marshal Brave Stars into Galactic Town. Tex Hex is attacking the town. Laser fire, Tex Hex shoots invisible electronic beams at the target. The bank explodes, but Brave Star strikes back and the town transforms into a fort. Brave Star hits the control. The wall falls. Fort Kyrian, the fort that transforms into a space town with a bank, command center, and jail. New from Brave Star. Batteries not included. Toys sold separately as every required. Burning key cars are fast. From the Burning Key Cars collection. Flashy sports cars. Classics. Rugged trucks and racing rigs. All ready for power. Key action. Push in those keys and give them a squeeze. You can run them, crash them. You can race them. Burning key cars. Yeah, key There are 20 Burning Key cars, each sold separately. Burning Key cars come with a color-coordinated keychain. Each car sold separately. New from Kidco. All right, hey, hope you like Mork, Mork and Mindy. Um, I think it's a fun cartoon. Um, it's a weird because it goes back to the college years where Mork was not there during that time, but, you know, they sent Laverne and Shirley into the military. They sent the Happy Days gang through time. So going back to college, not that big of a stretch. So, mm. But here we go, guys. We're going to keep this cartoon trainer going. Not the Cartoon Express, because that's trademarked by the USA Network, which I will not refer to this as a cartoon uh, express. It is a, the, the cartoon train today. Uh, I'm the... So... Don't know why I call it the cartoon train. I just do. But here you guys go. This is Laser Tag Academy episode four. Pay dirt. Enjoy. A thousand years from now, a perfect world. Laser Tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxon Dreer. through time in his quest to conquer the future he is pursued by jamie jaron jamie must team with her ancestors tom beth and nikki jaron join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past save the future and keep the peace established by the laser tag academy Hi, hon. What are you up to? Trying to fix Nicky's dinosaur. He says he can't get it to fly anymore. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to. Is it? Well, I'm not sure. Beth will know. Where is she? Oh, she's with the kids. They're out on their bikes. Church. Come on, you guys. Hey, wait for me! Rabbit, hurry, they're getting away. We're gone. Hey! Stop! You can't steal that car! Look! Someone
someone tied tin cans to the car. It's tradition. Let's everyone know they're married. Weird custom. We throw marshmallows. Pour it on. Dreer and the Scuds are getting away. <laughs> we need altitude. <laughs> Professor Alonga will round up the scugs. That shouldn't take long. Those mush heads don't have a brain among them. I hope it takes forever. Why is that, Nikki? Because then you won't leave us. He's right. Once Dreer and the scugs are back in the future, your mission is over. You'll have to go back to 3010. I'm gonna miss you lots and lots. Gonna miss you too, Nikki. Gonna miss all of you. <laughs> Professor. You've learned your lessons well. You're a credit to the Academy. The future is saved. Hate to spoil your party, but you don't have me. And what do you think is holding you to that pole? Spaghetti? I planted a gyro time bomb in an abandoned gold mine in the San Carlos Fault. Sort of an insurance policy. Tomorrow morning at exactly 1018, there'll be a moderate earthquake. No one can predict earthquakes. Who's predicting? I'm from the future, remember? I'm just citing history. Goodbye, California. Goodbye, Jaron family. We got the picture. You're a very bad man. I try. If he planted a bomb, it's possible it could set off a chain reaction that... That will make Nevada beachfront property. He's bluffing. Try me. We can't take that chance. Dreer, your freedom for the location of the bomb. Ah, oh, I knew you'd see things my way. Beth, I gotta go, you know what? Oh, Nikki, you always gotta go. I know, but this time I really gotta. We'll stop down there. You can't go up to Diablo now. Why not, Mrs. Sims? Because it'll be dark soon, and nobody goes to Diablo after dark. It's just an old ghost town. Maybe it's haunted. Ooh. Can it, Tom? Folks say it is haunted by the ghost of Flapjack Jones. We got a live one here. Who's Flapjack Jones? A crazy old miner who lived in Diablo back in the gold rush days. He was supposed to know those hills like the back of his hand. When the gold ran out in 1852, everyone left except Flapjack. They say his ghost is still up there. Ghost? Oh, boy! You're the adult here. I really advise you to stay until morning. Madam, I think that's an excellent idea. And what do we do about Mom and Dad? Mrs. Sims, do you have a phone I could borrow? I need to make an important call.
Should have dropped him down a hole. He's long gone. We can find him. We'll split up. No, the bomb is more important. That's what we've got to look for. And how are we supposed to do that without Dreer? There must be hundreds of abandoned mines around here. Too bad Mr. Flapjack isn't alive. Bet he knew how to find that old bomb. That's it. He spent his life in those hills. Right. Flapjack's the only one who can help us find the bomb. Terrific. We're going back to 1852 to find some crazy old miner to help us now? You got a better idea? Uh, no. Then let's go! Get the other skunks. We're going to follow the Jaren kids. This time, I'll finish them for good! Hey! not Billy the Kid. Strangers in town, aren't you? Uh, say, partner, do you know where we can find Flapjack Jones? Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll ask someone else. So this is the Old West, 1852. Yeah, and I reckon I love it out here. Men are men and horses... Our horses. How do horses walk in this stuff? Come on, we better find somebody who knows Flapjack. Hey, don't come back! How about him? Excuse me, sir. Do you know where we can find Flapjack Jones? That old goat? Uh, I don't know. Aren't you trying there? Well, let's check it out. Hold on there, Pilgrim. No place for kids and women folk in there. Huh. This is the West, and out here, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Give me a break. Uh, any of you hombres Flapjack Jones? <laughs> Well, hombre, what'd you find out? Um... Well, the kid and us, uh, women folk found out where Flapjack is. Not yet. I'll pick the time to finish off the Jaren kids. That must be the mine. Keep out Flapjack Jones. Doesn't sound friendly, does he? What was that? Wait! The starlight has no effect against animals. Just a minute. I want to get an inside look at this thing. That's what I thought. Okay, Smokey, time to turn you off. That's no monster. That looks like... Like some kind of a steam-powered mechanical gadget coated with phosphorescent paint. Let go of me, you big mangy varmint. Ralphie, let go. Hey, uh, what's with the puppet show? To scare people away. Isn't that right, Mr. Er... Jones, you nosy kids. Flapjack Jones. You should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Flapjack. Why? You come up here uninvited, poking around in the middle of the night, trying to steal my gold. 
We're not after your gold. Yeah, that's what they all say. Now just sashay back to where you come from and leave old Flapjack in peace. Mr. Flapjack, we need your help. I ain't in the helping business. I gotta fix the monster you broke. But you know this area, especially the mines, better than anyone. Darn tootin'. If I help you fix your monster, will you help us? Please help us find something, Mr. Flapjack. It's very important. We only have a few hours, then the bomb will explode and... Bomb? What bomb? What incarnation? The bomb near the San Carlos Fault. And why are you all dressed up in them funny clothes? This is what people wear in the future. Future? Where's that, up by St. Louis? It's not a where, it's a when. You youngins been grazing on loco weed? I can't explain now. Please help us, Flapjack. We only have till tomorrow morning to find that bomb. We're gonna go find it somewhere else. Hey, forget it, Jamie. We're wasting time. We'll just have to go back and find the bomb ourselves. Mr. Flapjack, were you expecting company? Cowboys! Plane jumpers! It's drear in the scuds! I don't want any of the Jarrens to get out of this in one piece. I'll get old Betsy and show them varmints what for. Uh, don't bother, Flapjack. This'll take care of them. I'm gonna give Drew and his bunch a little taste of Texas. Longhorn style. Go get him, Ralphie. <laughs> Hey, these ain't plane jumpers. These ain't even people. Ralph, you'll steer those cows right into the scubs. Those idiots. I'll make sure the Jarens eat that bomb. Run, you ugly horny toads, run! the ugliest jumpers I ever seen. Well, Flapjack, we have to go find that bomb. Well, why didn't you say you was fighting them hairy critters? Then you'll help us? Just take me to the train or whatever you use. Hold on to the star sensor. Carnation! <laughs> Where's Diablo? It dried up a long time ago. Kind of sad, ain't it? I sold me a lot of wild oats here. We've got to find that bomb, Flapjack. Well, we'll go in through number seven. Watch your heads now, youngin. Tunnel's kind of low in places. Come on. We'll fix it so they never see daylight again. <laughs> This here tunnel has a lot of earthquake activity, don't you know? So if there is a bomb, it'll probably be along here somewhere. gold once in a crack just like that. We aren't looking for gold, Flapjack. We're looking for a bomb, remember? 
That's the trouble with the young folks. I'm always in a dad gum hurry. Ralphie, you in there? Ralphie, where are you? Come on, Ralphie. I'll take care of the little Jaren now. What the? It doesn't work. Pull those timbers down. But he was here, right beside me, just a few seconds ago. Nikki? Nikki! Get us out of here. That's solid rock. We can't just leave him here. Isn't there another way in there? Yeah, come to think of it, there is. Uh, there was. Dug it myself. But that was a hundred years ago. It's our only chance. <laughs> Hurry up. I want to make sure there's no possible way out for them. You idiot! A few more yards should do it. They'll find us, Wealthy. Don't you worry about that. I know they will. Come on, Wealthy. Duck down and cover your head. Be brave. Give me your hands, youngin. Come on, Nikki, hurry up. Take Ralphie first. Nikki, if you don't, how can I hand you a bomb? The, the, the bomb. bomb! Boy, when I build tunnels, they stay built. Hundred years, and you beat that. Quick, we're running out of time. <laughs> I hear something. Been doing some remodeling. But there's another way out, right, Flapjack? Nope. I was meaning to dig another way out. I knew there was a reason. I got a plan. Don't tell me. You want to play roller coaster with a time bomb? That's the plan. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. The earthquake's about due. <laughs> Trisonium. It's not out of here. They'll work. Now finish them. Slow them down. The floor. I'll do it myself. Earthquake, bomb, kablooey? Stand back, everyone. Hee <laughs> hee! 
<laughs> we hit pay dirt, partner. Pay dirt. We struck the mother load. What do you think happened to Drear? I'll be back, Charon. <laughs> I have a feeling we'll see him again. I don't have to go back to 1852, do I? Gee, I don't know. Jamie? Well... Come on, youngins. It's taken me over 100 years to strike it rich. Bye, Flapjack. Thanks for everything. I'm here in the old ghost town of Diablo with its only resident, Virgil Flapjack Jones, who has just hit what he calls pay dirt. Tell us, Flapjack, how long have you been digging for gold? You wouldn't believe me, Missy. What's this pesky gizmo for? Why, uh, that's the microphone. And why does that young fella keep a pointing that doohinky at me? Uh, please, Flapjack, leave the camera alone. Some guys have all the luck. Me? I couldn't find gold in a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> world of crystal warriors, demons, and wizards. Good wizards like OGOD, evil wizards like Zardeth, and underworld demons like Moldar. They've captured OGOD! Each figure with a crystal prism that makes everything look like this. Witness and might, evil and might, the winner is up to you! The Saga of Crystar Collection. Each figure sold separately by Remco. Nah, this is great. This is from 1978. When Porsche designed the bike of the future. Look at that futuristic bike. Look at it. It's all wind resistant and stuff. That is just too sweet. So, I hope you guys still liking Laser Tag. I'm having fun watching it. Because I have not rewatched this in a very, very long time. And watching it with you guys has made it so much better. So, yet again, different. I'm going Peter Pan and the Pirates, man. So we're we're all over. We're just chaos today. I almost felt like I just rolled a die, and that's what we got. We're like, okay, one, uh, we get a, uh, nope. Just decided randomly. I was like, man, nope, I haven't aired that in a while. Nope. No. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. That's where we're at today. So we're doing Peter Pan and the Pirates, and this is episode Four, the rake. Enjoy.
over these miserable slobbery galleons. Sure. 
sorcerer. As sure as you're a clapper dungeon lummox, me. I sailed on the rotten wreck. Captain Patch was my brother. But now I'll have every blood-soaked fire-blackened farthing of his treasure. Ahoy there, Zedo. It's the captain. Set those young twerps free, curs. Set them free, captain? Am I beset with parrots or pirates, Taki? You'll obey my orders, or by Jove, I'll plunge this claw into your garment. Set them free. Step lively, my young cockalorum, before I aerate your rotten guitar. Ahoy there, lover! We're in for it now, old boy. Captain Alakas to the greetings. Mason! Uh, Starkey! Help the folks and fetch that treasure chest. Gaul and Brimstone! What have you done with those boys? We've released the little scalawax. We thought we was following your orders to the letter, Captain. Following my orders? You called out from the cave to work. or not. I can't wait to see Hook's face when he sees Patch's ghost. Keep it straight and level, Swabs. Captain, that chest is from the rake. That ship was cursed to roam the seven seas for all eternity. Cursed or no, Mullins, the treasure was my brother's. He never did like me. He denied me my share when I sailed as his midshipman. We fought most Horribly. Watch this. But now, I will have it all. Brimstone and gall.
defeat Vinny Jukes and return fire. We're out of round shot, Captain. They use chain, grape, and crown. <laughs> Look lively, Starkey. Double time now. You load and I'll ram, Starkey. Starkey, desist. You're loading my treasure with that chain. <laughs> chance to see anything like her again. Why did that ghost ship run? Maybe the ghosts were scared or something. If it scared the ghost, we should be slightly terrified. Whoa, this looks like a piece of Patch's treasure. Hey, let's take a look inside. No, we should go home. Well, I don't often do things I should do, so I'm going in. Hey. You were right, Tink. It's great. The ship is evil. <laughs> Everything about her is dangerous. <laughs> Welcome aboard, midshipman. Midshipman? I had a midshipman once. We fought a troll. He tossed me this eye. And now, if I am to roam the seven seas once more, I need a crew. You do for a time, boy. I wouldn't join your crew if I were to be dead and buried. That will be all it takes. Whoa! The head take as fast as you can! Thank you, Captain. Not you, me. The ship. Oh, of course, Captain, the ship it is. Oh, right you are, to be sure. Um, what was the question? Surely we've seen enough, Peter. I'd say we've seen slightly too much. I'm not leaving until I see what happens between Patch and Hook. It's too important. And it's too intriguing. Double the watches. Keep your eyes peeled and your blades sharp. Uh, maybe the rake will not return, Captain. She'll return, Robert Mullins. There's unfinished business between us. And be warned, if you fall...
fall into that devil's hands. You remember me as a kindly schoolman. Oh, perhaps Captain Patch would leave us be if we returned his treasure over my dead body. How can a handful of jewels be more important than life? That's adults for you. I don't think all adults behave like that. Well, that's my experience. <laughs> and what experience with adults have you had? Recall! Four points on the larboard bow! your dinners. Another time. At 
another time to tear you to shreds. The Lego system starts here, with the curiosity of a preschooler and the big blocks of a Duplo building set. And as imaginations grow, so does the Lego system, because most every block fits every other block from every Duplo and Lego set we ever made. From preschool on up, our toys play on and on. Lego and Duplo building sets, the toys you grow up with. I want my block back. G.I. Joe Snowcat holds 10 Joes, and it's got a missile rack and torpedo skis. G.I. Joe! Cobra's on the run! Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe Snowcat, other Joe and Cobra figures and equipment sold separately from... Hey, I hope you like Peter Pan and the Pirates still. I'm having fun. It's, uh... Back when uh, Peter Pan fell into public domain. So everybody jumped on it. You know... I, I gotta put this out there. Um, I know people compare me to other shows that do Saturday morning cartoons and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not trying to compete. Don't want to compete. Some of these guys do a better job than I do. Uh, some people do not a good job as I do. At least that's the, I think how I might do a horrible job. But you're all still watching, so hopefully I do a good enough job to keep you guys entertained. <clears throat> and the fact I I keep growing, so I'm evidently doing something right. Uh, I'm not, like I said, not competing with nobody. Don't want to compete with anybody. Uh, I think there's plenty of room for out there for everybody. Um, I'm here to have fun. I'm not doing this because I want to make money. I'm not doing this because I want to do anything other than I want to save cartoons, man. I want to save the Saturday morning experience. And that's why this exists. So, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, we're going to go to my pet monster. Uh. Man, I kind of want a My Pet Monster now. I did not want one until relatively recently. Even when I was a little kid, I didn't really want one. Man, there's something about it. I think one looked cool hanging up on a shelf back here. Put up over here, over there, or wherever. Put one around here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look at picking one up at the next toy show I go to. Or I'm doing a comic book show this weekend, so maybe I'll see if I have some one there. Maybe I'll pick one up. I don't know. I hate spending that kind of money on something that's just decoration. Although I have toys that are just decoration. <clears throat> but here you guys go. This is My Pet Monster, Episode 6. Runaway Monster. Enjoy. <laughs> He's just having lots of fun in his own monster way. He loves to munch on garbage. He'll even eat the can. If this sounds gross, please understand. He's my best friend. My pet monster. My very, very bestest friend. My pet monster. A monster of a friend. A monster of a Pet Monster. Happy birthday, dear monster. Happy birthday to me. Today 
Baymax take Monster to fair for birthday. Hope we not forget Monster's birthday. <laughs> hmm. Monster remind Max, just in case. Big box ready for big monster present. Boy, we told Jill and Maxie all this stuff. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Whoa! What happened? Jackie! Monster! <laughs> Chuck, you know what day it is? Uh, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not Christmas. It's summertime. Christmas came early this year. And uh, look, it's Mr. Hanko. Quick, hi. Yikes. Oh. Uh, huh? There's no Mr. Hanko. And it's not Christmas. Why, Chucky Trick Monster? to be Monster's best birthday ever. It's gonna be a real surprise, because he thinks he's just going to the fair. Hey, be careful, Chucky. Yuck. Monster saw me. I told him it was Christmas, and he fell for it. Good. This party is top secret. Hey, buddies. <gasps> Guess what day today is. <laughs> it's my birthday. How am I going to make the birthday cake with Monster always snipping around? I'll keep him busy. Uh. Hey, sorry, Monster, but haven't I told you to knock first? Oh, yeah. Me forgot. Oh, boy. Today, big day, Max. Buddy, best pal, special friend. You're right. Today is a big day. It's garbage day. Garbage day? Better hurry or you'll miss all that juicy garbage. But Max... Get going, monster, go! If Max say so. Okay, Jill, the coast is clear. Why, Max Trick Monster? No garbage day. Me no. Max hide birthday present for monster. Happy birthday to me. Hello, present. You in there, present? Maybe you're in here, present. Hello, present. Goodbye, present. Maybe Max do forget Monster's birthday. Huh? No, he don't. Monster's birthday present. Yahoo! You're not present. You're princess. <laughs> nice doggy. Sorry, doggy. You are smart. Go. Uh-oh, trouble. What's going on? Sorry, Max. Me saw pretty ribbon. Me think princess. Present for monster. Do you know what day it is, Max? Max! The day Mr. Hinkle finds out you're a monster if we don't get these cuffs on you. Uh-oh. I should have known. Quick, monster, get in the box. Where is it? Where's what, sir? That creature... You call a pet. Aha! It's hiding in that box. Hmm. Mr. Hinkle, I don't think you should Stand back! That. Now we'll see if your creature is just a figment of my imagination. Gee, thanks, Mr. Hinkle. I knew it was around here someplace. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for Princess's Poodle Show at the fair. And while I'm away, you can clean up this mess! No problem, Mr. Hinkle. Phew. Good thing Monster cuffed himself. And it's a good thing he made this mess. Because while we set up his party, Monster will be cleaning Mr. Hinkle's yard. Monsterize him! Yeah! Terrific! Hiya! 
up, buddies. Don't high buddy me. Oh. You've been nothing but trouble today. You made a big mess, and Mr. Hinkle almost caught you. Monster, sorry. But today, monsters burst. No buts. You have to clean up that mess that you made right now. Okie dokie. What about going to the fair? You're not going anywhere until you're finished. But when you're finished, clean it up again. Um. Let's go. There's still a lot to do. Ta-da! All clean. Wait a minute. And when you're finished, clean it up again. Okie dokie. Yeah, easier to eat garbage than to clean up. Why Max and Chucky no want monster around? Maybe they don't care about monster's birthday. Nah. Wow, this looks like a scene out of Revenge of the Interior Decorator. Only the best for my pet monster. Jill's cake should be almost ready. Yeah, it's a chocolate squid fish head and a leftover noodle combo. Mmm, the grossest. I hope she can get it past Monster. Don't worry. Monster will be cleaning up that mess for hours. Huh? Happy birthday. Stay out, Monster! To me. Birthday boy, try again. Okay. Ready or not, hear me come. Monster birthday. Max the one monster. Uh, huh? Uh, Jill care. Jill love monster. Uh, 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 Jill. What? Monty. You shouldn't surprise people like that. Monster sorry. Mmm. What's not good? Uh, I'm very busy. I don't have time to talk. But today's monster's birth. Sorry, Monzi, no time. Day. <laughs> Me don't get it. Max forget? Oh. Jackie forget? Even Jill forget birthday. No one want monster. <laughs> Mr. One Monster! Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Who's there? Whoa! Ooh. Yikes! Beaster! That's right! See this cake. Beast <gasps> monster. <laughs> that Monty. He's trying every trick in the book. Oh, he can't fool us. Monster, no escape now. <laughs> Monster clad beast are in a big hurry. Why not no up, monster? Maybe monster do bad thing. Maybe Max no like monster no more. There must be some way of keeping monster out of the treehouse long enough to finish these decorations. We could send him shopping or ask him to clean your room or... We can't do that. It's his birthday. Monster make everything better. Say sorry. I just wish Monster would go away and leave us alone. Oh no! Monster right! Max no love Monster no more. <laughs> oh. Max give Monster nice things. Monster just give Max trouble. <laughs> oh. Monster bad boy. 
Monster, sorry. It's okay, Max. No love monster no more. Monster, come here to find friends. Now I have no friends. Monster, go to fair alone. Then go back to Monster Land forever and ever. We now return to My Pet Monster. You look magnificent, princess. You'll win the blue ribbon paws down. Fun. Monster have no friends. Beaster only one one monster. He take me back to Monster Land. Beaster! Oh, Beaster! Come get Monster! I am Beaster! I don't care who you are, pal. It's still three balls for a quarter. <laughs> monster sure to come to fair. When monster come, we stir ready. Rush, rush. Ta -da! A birthday cake fit for the best little monster in the whole world. Looks like they're putting that eight Ohio. Ew, it's alive! Back you fiend! Phew. Thank you, sir. You saved my life. Will you guys quit crowding around? It's time to get the birthday boy. Nothing like a soothing boat ride to calm the nerves, right, Princess? Hey, Beaster! This just like Beaster. Never there when you need him. Oh, Princess, what is it now? Oh, Princess! And we've looked everywhere. Max, what's wrong? You look like you've lost your best friend. I have. Listen. Monster bad boy. Monster sorry. It's okay, Max. No love monster no more. 
monster come here to find a friend. Now have no friends. Monster go to fair alone. Then go back to Monsterland forever and ever. Poor monster. He must have heard me say I wish he'd go away. Some surprise this has turned out to be. If we're lucky, we can still catch him at the fair. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Monster no escape this time! No! No, this is not right! Monster want help, Beaster! Stay back! Beaster, no get it! No, no! Wait! Wait for Monster! Max no want Monster! Beaster no want Monster! No one want Monster! Oh... Monster miss friends. If Monster have one birthday wish, Monster wish Max was buddy again. You got it, Monster. Now Monster hear voices. Max! Boy, was I ever worried about you. Max no worry. Max no want Monster. No, Monster. It's not like that. Jill and Chucky and I were... Well, we were just busy. We love you, Monster. Honest. Max want Monster back? Yes. Say the words. You're my best friend, Monster. I want you back more than anything in the whole wide world. Say please. Are you coming home or not? Beaster got it. Monster give up. Yeah. Uh, no. No? Monster change mind. Monster go home, Max. Easter get monster. Uh oh. <laughs> Too high, Max. Too high. Easter get. Don't you? 
tell him, Chucky. Captain O.G. Rebor here. If you're packing up a picnic or heading for the beach, there's some instant entertainment that's always right in reach. You could hike it, you could bike it, you could sling it on your back, and it's right there where you need it when you're ready to relax. Yes, it's instant entertainment. <laughs> any place and any day. So no matter where you're going, <laughs> don't forget your book, okay? <laughs> Beastman, Beast Man's match for Battle Armor He-Man. Beastman, Battle Armor He-Man, and Skeletor each sold separately. Take that! Just a dent. And that! More dents. But look! They're gone! Only He-Man has this power. Oh, yeah? Battle Armor Skeletor has it, too. Now the real fun begins. Battle Armor Skeletor and He-Man figures each sold separately from the Masters of the Universe collection. Beastman figure also sold separately from Mattel. Y'all still like my pet monster? Fun cartoon. Uh, I love how the opening intro is essentially the the Adams Family theme song. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Yeah, I can't do that because then I'll get slapped with a cease and desist. Um, all right, I couldn't announce it last week, but we're doing it this week. We're bringing you more Superboy and Crypto. Uh, yes, this is from uh, Filmation. Yes, it was made around the same time as the Filmation stuff. Um, DC had a run with Filmation for a while, then they did the Hanna-Barbera, but they still had stuff going through Filmation while they had Super Friends going. So, you know, DC had their, had, had many iron in a fire, man. They wanted to make sure that people were watching their cartoons. Uh, like I have the Ruby Spears Superman and uh, I think that was going on while they were, I think we were during the Justice, not the Justice League, which is, is the Justice League, Super Friends are Justice League. But uh, during the uh, Galactic Guardians stuff, which I love because it introduced one of my favorite DC heroes of all time, Firestorm. Severely underrated character, severely underrated character. But uh, here you guys go. This is Superboy and Crypto. Enjoy. Adventures of Superboy and his superdog Crypto. Exciting stories of Superman when he was a boy, who, as young Clark Kent, devotes his superpowers to the prevention of crime and the preservation of peace for all mankind. Superboy. On a vital mission for government scientists, Superboy and his superdog Crypto begin a journey to the Earth's core. Guided by his X-ray vision, the boy of steel bores downward through ancient fossil beds, vast subterranean caverns, through a thousand wonders never seen by the human eye. Wait, Crypto, this is it. This is the radioactive rock the government geologists asked for. Find something, Crypto? It's some weird kind of rock, like a... A glowing ball of onyx. I'll ask those government scientists to analyze that strange ball for us. Come on, Crypto. Help me collect some of those radioactive samples. We've got enough. Now, back to the lab. Thanks for those radioactive rocks, Superboy. And we'll start analyzing this other strange specimen at once. Good. 
Let me know the results. A 50,000 pound impact at each blow, but we can't even chip it. Two days of testing with diamond drills and not a scratch. That thing is out of this world. And out of this world, too, is the monstrous creature emerging from the tunnel which Superboy drilled to the Earth's core. Pausing momentarily to get its bearings, the fantastic behemoth grinds downhill. Crunching, munching, devouring everything in its path. Hours later in Smallville, where Superboy lives in his secret identity of Clark Kent, the Boy of Steel is alerted by a familiar signal. State police calling Superboy. Urgent. A fantastic crystalloid monster has invaded Earth. Report to Mountain Road at once. Crystalloid monster? I'd better take off, Dad. Yes, son. Sounds like a job for Superboy. everything in its path. Everyone stand back. I'll clobber this crystal creep. Those crystal chunks. Some strange magnetic force is pulling them back into place like a jigsaw puzzle. Not even Superboy can stop that monster. <laughs> stop it, Crypto. This is no time for games. <laughs> well, what's up? You want me to come with you back to the lab? It's important. Okay, Crypto. Folks, this may have something to do with the monster. Keep away from it till I get back. Up, up, and away! Oh, Superboy. The state police asked us to find the origin of that crystalloid monster. Any luck? Well, this aerial photo of its path shows it emerged from the tunnel you dug to the Earth's core. But, but where? How? We believe it plunged out of space ages ago, when Earth was still molten. Since then, it has been imprisoned by radioactive rock. And my digging this tunnel released it? That's right. Oh, quiet, Crypto. What's bothering you now? That's why you brought me here. Well, if you're right, Crypto... He understands what the dog's saying. Can it be telepathy? I'll check with X-ray vision. You are right. That round rock is an egg with a baby crystalloid inside. Oh, it's all clear now. That crystallized monster out there is hunting for its egg. And I've got an idea how we can get rid of it. Now, Crypto, We'll use our heat vision to hatch that egg. Come on now, pour it on. Look, it's hatching. Well, happy birthday, Junior. Oh, so you want your mama, huh? Okay, pal, here we go. I'll put Junior back in his playpen. Crypto, you wait here. Bullets are useless. Where's Superboy? Oh, don't shoot, man. She's somebody's mother. You're wanted in the nursery, Mama. Here we are, madam. Hurry, Mother, hurry. Junior's waiting. This radioactive rock should keep them snug for the next million years, Crypto. <laughs> oh, you took the words right out of my mouth. A Superboy's best friend is his super dog.
the adventures of Superboy and his Superdog Crypto. Exciting stories of Superman when he was a boy, who as young Lord Kent devotes his superpowers to the prevention of crime and the preservation of peace for all mankind. Superboy. In his laboratory outside Smallville, a famed scientist embarks on a fateful experiment. What are the ingredients in this serum, Professor Ames? A combination of chemicals extracted from peanuts and other elephant foods. With rearranged molecules? That's right, Carter. This will stimulate this pygmy's elephant body cells, turning her into a bigger, stronger species. Someday, Carter, even humans may benefit from such a serum. Holy smokes! Look at that! Good grief! She's growing too fast! The serum has changed her into a prehistoric mastodon. Watch out! Lumbering into Smallville, the beast carves a path of havoc and destruction, crushing everything in its way. Even bullets from police revolvers fail to halt the trudging juggernaut. But now, to the rescue, streak two famed figures. Let's calm that baby down, Crypto. Look at Crypto. All right, now, calm down. Careful, Crypto. You may get melted again. Now, now, take it nice and easy. Open her mouth, Superboy. Quickly. Okay. Uh, thank goodness I developed this antidote in case my growing serum got out of hand. So that's what it was. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's returning to normal. That's better. <laughs> that was a close call, sir. <laughs> it was that. Thank you, Superboy. Glad to be of service. Let's go, Crypto. Up, up, and away! Once more, on the outskirts of Smallville, an alarm summons Superboy to the rescue. Up, up, and away! Let's seal this up, Crypto, until we can get Professor Ames. That should hold the poor, unhappy beast. How could Professor Ames let this happen again? It wasn't I, Superboy. But how? Carter, my assistant, he lost his mind. The police have him in custody. Now I fear we must destroy that poor beast. Oh, no. It will take years to produce more of the antidote. How come? It's a chemical salt extracted from the fossilized stamping grounds of the African elephant. Salt, hmm? Africa? Streaking through the sky at super speed, Superboy and Crypto reach the jungle of Africa in mere seconds. of these fossilized chunks. Now we've got to grind these down with super friction. Now to hit the salts with x-ray vision. And squeeze them out with super pressure. But at this very moment, outside Smallville, the huge beast comes crashing out of its prison. And within a short time, it once again threatens destruction. That school bus! It's right in her path! Full girl! Over you go! Quick, Crypto! The antidote! Thank you again, Superboy. I've decided to give up this dangerous experiment forever. A wise decision, sir. Now you'd better take your elephant and... 
But she's gone. So is crypto. Hop, hop, and away! No, crypto, you can't play with her now. But you may visit her anytime you want at Smallville Zoo. Opening City's populace awakens to another busy day. You notice the arrival of two weird visitors high above the rooftops. Block them off! Confusion reigns as the strange visitors embark on a spree of terror. Oh, he's going to crash! While the police try vainly to stop the awesome invaders, radio bulletins flash across the country and to the Kent General Store in Smallville. An emergency call has gone up for Superboy. If he is anywhere within reach. Guess I'll have to postpone cleanup, Dad. Go ahead, Clark. Up, up, and away! As Superboy and his pet approach a scene of impending disaster, the strange beings loose lightning bolts, which cut a railroad trestle in two, just as a speeding train roars onto it. Holy smokes, the train! Full speed ahead, Crypto. Let's put this train back on the right track. Now, let's find those two jokers. Go get them, Crypto. All right, now, down you go. And no funny stuff. Now, who are you? They don't seem to understand me. You have handled it just plain dumb. There's only one way to handle this. Up, up, and away! Delivering his captives to a local precinct jail, Superboy locks them safely out of harm's way. These are all their weapons, Sergeant. Pretty odd collection, eh, Superboy? I'll say. But without them, those two shouldn't be any trouble. I certainly hope so. Please keep an eye on them while Crypto and I see if we can dig up any clues to their identity. Will do. Good luck, Silverboy. Up, up, and away! Clancy, Burger, they're escaping! Call out the riot squad! Meanwhile, unaware of the new danger that threatens, Superboy and Superdog scour the surrounding countryside until... Great Scott! A spaceship! Wrecked! And look what's down there, Crypto, by that crashed spaceship. Two more of them. Big ones. My wife and I thank you, young Earthling. What happened to you? We come from a planet in another star system. We were forced to crash land here. Oh, I see. Your boys have been creating panic with all kinds of fearsome weapons. Weapons? They have only toys. Harmless in our world. Some toys. Crypto, go fetch those two youngsters while I help these people repair their spaceship. <laughs> This very moment, where police have cornered the unarmed space babies. Don't get too close to them, men. They're very dangerous. If they make a move, blast them. Look out, men! <laughs> what delayed you, Crypto? The ship's all set for travel. Except for one detail, Superboy. All our launching fuel drained out. That's no problem. Just climb in and we'll launch you. All aboard. Let her rip, Crypto. 
bet that's one pair of kids you'll never miss, Crypto. <laughs> oh, you silly super dog. Come on. I've got to go sweep out the star. Away! of Superboy and his superdog, Crypto. Exciting stories of Superman when he was a boy, who, as young Clark Kent, devotes his superpowers to the prevention of crime and the preservation of peace for all mankind. Superboy. Miles beneath the sea, a sleeping volcano rumbles ominously. Then suddenly, erupts into life. The liner is drawn inexorably to destruction. Alerted by the Coast Guard, Superboy and his superdog Crypto come streaking to the rescue. Up, up, and away! Okay, Crypto, she'll make her way safely now. Let's see what we can do about that water spout. Nothing to worry about here. It's playing itself out. What's that? Catch him, Crypto. What a strange little creature. Wonder where he came from. I guess we're stuck with him till we find out where he belongs. He sure likes you, Crypto. <laughs> you found a friend, Crypto. You take care of him. I'll try to find out where he came from. Up and away! As the animal's play brings them near Smallville Dam, the little creature gazes thirstily at the mammoth sluice gates. yet, Crypto. Up, up, and away! We've got to dig a canal. Divert that flood away from Smallville. Come on. Streaking to the side of the undersea eruption, Superboy plunges down to resume his search for the creature's home. So this is where he came from. Now I can bring our little friend back home. At this very moment, where a pumping station pressure feeds water through an underground water main, the little amphibious creature is again attracted by the sound of water. Suddenly, a spark reaches explosive underground gases. underground pressure. The gases will burn themselves out harmlessly now, Crypto. But how did... Oh, no! Better stop him, Crypto, before he brings that whole mountain down. You know, Crypto, that little fellow sacrificed his life to save you. 
poor little guy. How was he to know that your super body could withstand an avalanche? Crypto, do you hear what I hear? Start digging. <laughs> now, Crypto, it's time to take him home. There. You see? He was homesick. He's a lot happier here, with his relatives. Okay? Now let us go home. Up, up, and away! Adventures of Superboy and his super dog, Crypto. Exciting stories of Superman when he was a boy, who, as young Clark Kent, devotes his superpowers to the prevention of crime and the preservation of peace for all mankind. Superboy. Alerted to the presence of a fiery meteor which seems headed for a crackdown on Hawaii, Superboy and his super dog, Crypto, streak across the continent to intercept a lethal menace. There it is, Crypto. Come on, boy, let's go get it. Great guns. That's no meteor. Some kind of a space capsule. You grab one antenna, Crypto. I'll grab this one. Now, let's cool it. Holy smokes. It's written in Kryptonese. And it says, this capsule contains forbidden super weapons launched into space when war was outlawed on Krypton. Let's have a look at those things. Let's see now. This says, disintegrator grenade. This is a, wow, a ray that causes instant blindness. And this, this is a, careful, Crypto. These old weapons may be very dangerous to us Kryptonians. Crypto! Ooh. My eyes! My eyes! I can't see. I know you didn't mean it, Crypto, but, but now how will I find my way home? Wait. You can see, right? Well then, you can be my seeing eye dog. Go fetch a vine from the jungle. Hurry! I'll round up these terrible Kryptonian weapons so we can get rid of them. Good boy, Crypto. Now, let me tie one end to your car. I'll hold on to the other end. When we take off, I'll dump that capsule into the sea where it will never be found. Let's go. Up, up, and away! There it goes. Crypto, do you see a ship in trouble below? <laughs> Lead me down to it fast. For the shore, Crypto. What's the matter, Crypto? Are we near the docks? For Pete's sake, Crypto! Oh my gosh, I nearly wrecked that ship and the docks. Well, that does it, Crypto. Lead me straight home, please. <laughs> Let's be honest, Dad. What good is a blind Superboy? Now, now, son. You still have other superpowers? Sure. But without sight, I'm a... Listen. The police signal. State police calling Superboy. Urgent. Please contact headquarters at once. What do I do, Dad? You call in. That's what. Okay, Dad. Superboy calling state police. Come in, please. Some nut called to say he planted a time bomb set to blow up the state highway bridge five minutes from now. Great Scott. It may be real. We need your help. I'll be right there. Please 
hurry, Superboy. You lead me outside, Dad, and Crypto will take over from there. <laughs> Quiet, Crypto. I hear something ticking. <laughs> You found it. Good boy, Crypto. Dig fast, Crypto. In just a few seconds, that bomb's gonna go off. Huh. This must be it. Take me into the sky, quickly. I can see! I can see! Do you hear me, Crypto? I can see! It must have been the force of the explosion, Dad, that did it for me. Well, it may have been the flash. <laughs> Who cares what it was? Uh-oh. More trouble? Superboy here. This is State Police Headquarters, Superboy. Calling to tell you we've caught the bridge saboteur. Great. Glad to hear that. And thanks for what you did for us. Forget it, sir. You'll never know what that did for me. Jake Rockwell, Ace McLeod, and Doc Terror each sold separate Something Trouble and forever, Jake! And that's the soap goes! Let's do it! My name is Doc Terror Dan! Centurion! Take this! Energize the power mode! Get out of the way! Fire! Now! New Centurions, Jake Rockwell, Ace McLeod, and Doc Terror come as shown, each sold separately. Switch on, Charger Tron, robots like you've never seen. Switch on, Charger Tron, supersonic machines, rev the meter till it's red. Launch out the tracker, switch on, Charger Tron, now it's an attacker. Switch on, Charger Tron, always changing, rearranging. He's surprising. He's disguising. Charger Tron. Charger Tron. There's Protagatron and Antagatron. Each sold separately. Tom Putty L. Hey, I hope you're still loving Superboy and Crypto. Even if it's only the second episode, we'll bring you some more. I just love how the dog got a wink at the end of every episode, or they have to have something like that. Like, some nod towards the audience that you're watching a Superboy cartoon. I guess breaking the fourth wall before Deadpool, before Harley Quinn, before She-Hulk, Superboy was doing it in his cartoon. Not in his comic book, but in his cartoon. Same with Crypto. Breaking the fourth wall. Alright. So, I gotta put this out there. Um, I need to uh, say that if you won the contest last week, I need you to send me your information. Uh, I can't ship it out if I don't have it. Uh, remember, it's uh, are you game 2011 at Gmail. Uh, I'll put it at the end. So it's or, or Group Therapy TV one at Gmail. You send us, you know, ideas or, or Gus. Gus, I want to say thank you a ton for hooking me up with some Mork and Mindy stuff like that. Uh, there for a while, the only Mork and Mindy I was finding had bad audio. So you helped me find some good stuff with some new audio. Thank you. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for sending me links. Um, it's like, Robert, thanks for sending that stuff. I appreciate it. I mean, as you see, they are right there. They are not going anywhere. So we're going to bring you, I'm going to have to get back to the show here, Ultra Force. And this is episode 8, Prime Ambition. I'll show you how to get G.I. Joe. Destro! Of course it's Destro, you fool! Who else can help us? We'll attack here! Yeah. It's a terrifying G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! American hero! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his name! G.I. Joe! Destro is his name! Destro is his
Okay, class, for this term science project, I'm going to break you up into teams, and you will be graded as a team. The first team will be Chuck Martini, Sharon O'Brien, Becky Kawai, and Andy Wazorek. Oh, yuck! I can't work with Andy Wazorek. I hate that creep. This project is doomed to failure. With an attitude like that, it is. And if you're going to have to work with someone all year long, give them a chance and get to know them. And if it doesn't work out, talk to your teacher. But either way, you'll feel better and you'll do better, too. I don't know if I want to work with you, Sharon. Andy, I know we haven't been the best of friends, but I'd like to bury the hatchet and get to know you better. Same here. If we work together, our team can be a real winner. Hey, I think our team's going to be just great. And that's one to grow on. All right, hope you guys are still liking the Ultra Force. I, I, I like the Ultra Force, man. Uh, it was definitely better than the Avenger cartoon that came out close to about the same time because that was not good. Um, the Avenger cartoons that come much later were awesome. Uh, Avengers and Avengers Assembled. Uh, Avengers uh, United We Stand. Holy crap, I can't even remember. It was so bad. As a matter of fact, they make fun of it in uh, the new Chippendale Rescue Ranger cartoon. Uh, so, yeah. But here you guys go. Uh, you've asked for this one again. And that is Bailey's Comet. And uh, this is Skateroo to the Carlsbad Clue. Uh, that's a weird one. I guess they're, they're trying to take off on the, like, the... Maybe the, the, the wacky races or something like that, but they're roller derbies. And it's filmation, so you do see a lot of reoccurring uh, artwork. So, Bailey's Comet. Enjoy. <laughs> With all 15 teams racing to Carlsbad Cabins to find the next clue that will lead them to the million dollar prize. And as the skater stampede up treacherous Sidewinder Mountain, we find Bailey's Comets just a galloping out there in the lead. Wrong, dude. The rambling rivets are using a catapult device to catapult themselves into first place. Quick, Thunder Bender. <laughs> Activate your own slicker. Yikes. Those skating scrap heaps butter the road. Oh, doggies. Those comets are a-sliding right out of second place. And if they don't stop sliding soon, they'll drop right out of the race. Quick, everybody, grab hands. What's the plan, Barnaby? Just close your eyes and keep your fingers crossed. That's a plan? <laughs> Wow, Barnaby, that was some plan. At the quarter point in the race, it's the Brimmer girls with a wide leap. But here come the Comets, buddy boy. Curses, we're going to have to do something. Bailey's Comets are gaining on us. <laughs> Help! Get me out of here! Oh, sure. I guess little old homely me is never 
never gonna catch itself a boyfriend. That gives me a mean idea how to stop the comets. <laughs> Dry your tears, dearie. Auntie Hag is just the thing to get you a boyfriend. A magic love potion. Just spray a little on a boy and he's yours forever. <laughs> Steam team, we're gaining on the Broomer Girls. Yeah, turn on the steam. Oh, boy! Here comes the boys! Steam time! Yow! <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Did anyone ever tell you you're beautiful? It worked! The love potion worked! Hold it, team! We've lost Pudge! There he is, Barnaby. Hey, Pudge, come on. We gotta get going. Get going? Where are we going? We're going to try and catch all those teams that are passing us. I think he's in love. Look at his eyes. Oh, aren't they cute? They look like a couple of Valentines. How could he fall in love so fast? With this love potion Anna Hat gave me. I've got something that'll snap him out of it. Here, Pudge. Your favorite snack, a nice bunch of bananas. Yuck! I hate bananas. Oh, brother. If bananas can't cure him, he's incurable. Well, if we can't cure Pudge, let's cure the girl. I get it. We'll make her so good looking, she'll go looking for another boyfriend. First step, hairdo. Hut, 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 hut. Hairdo done. Next step, makeup. On the double, buddy. Hut, hut, hut. This is more fun than finger painting. Those old comets better get along, Gabby. Every second is putting them further behind in this here race. And unbelievably, the roller bears are in first place. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so much for the roller bear. Now let's see how the comets are doing. Last shot, mirror. Wow, is that little me? Oh, there you are, my heart throb. Some other time, Pudgekin. Now I can get any boy I want. See ya. Yay! Okay, Comets, let's skate a route to the clue. I'm not budging without my sweetie pie. Help! Oh, let me out of here! I'm in love! I'm in love! What we need to snap Pudge out of his spell is an antidote. Hey, look up ahead. It's the Dr. Jekyll. They can cure anybody. Cool idea. I'll go ask him for an antidote. Dash of H2SO4. And the teaspoon of 204SH. Aha! Anti Witch's Love Potion. Gee, thanks. You Jack O'Hides are gentlemen. Our pleasure. Anything to help a fellow skater? What are we doing? Helping the Bailey's Comet? Ocean? <laughs> 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 Here's the potion. You'll never get the potion. Here's your potion. I wish those jekylls would make up their hides. Those jekyll hides don't know whether they're coming or going. Go on, Gabby boy. They're a-going. Come on, Comets. The Carlsbad Caverns are up ahead. And so is to rubble for the cow. Now, yeah, me hearties. That'll belay those Bailey's Comets for a tide or two. <laughs> as soon as we see the Comets, kick the ball and block the road. Keep us sawing, boys. Those Bailey's will never get across the bridge. Booga booga una. Point Bailey's Comets. <laughs> Everybody's out to stop the comet. Booga booga, comet. Here's the comet. Kick off. Hang on, everybody. Looks like a foul up in the foul play. And 
the Jekyll Hydes are the first ones to reach Carlsbad campus. And the Comets are right behind them, old buddy. Now we've got them. Okay, you Hydes, hand over that antidote. Try and get it. Oh, no, there goes the antidote. And our chances of curing pond. Time for Wheelie's rocket skates to roar to the rescue. Got it! I hope this antidote cures him. Anybody got another banana? He's cured! Come on, let's find the clue. All of the teens are in the cavern. Searching for the million dollar clue. And who's it gonna find it first? It's not gonna be the comets, man. <laughs> wow, nothing like landing in a dark cave. How can you tell? I can't see a thing. Easy, I found a candle. Yikes, that's a Roman candle. Wick, do something. <laughs> Banana brain, get rid of it. Looky there, a ship. This is Grand Tour. Pew 42 at 12 o'clock noon. <laughs> a vast med. That's the clue. Let's cut sauce. Hey, where's everybody going? And there go the teams to the SS Grand Tour. But what happened to the comets, Gab? There's where everybody's gone. Come on, we got a skater route of Pier 42. <laughs> Oh, no, we missed the ship. Now what do we do? Simple. We switch to my pontoon paddle skates. Go, 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 go. Do you think the comets will catch up, old buddy? Well, Judy Roo, we'll just have to watch and see. And here come the skate, racing across the French countryside on their way to Paris, France. And the next clue that will lead them to the million dollar prize. And due to an earlier setback, the Comets are in last place. We got a lot of catching up to do. It'll be a cinch with Wheelie's Jeff Bell's gates. Look at those comets go. They zoom past the gargantuan giants and jet through the mystery mob. <laughs> Meanwhile, the hairy mountain red eyes move up on the Broomer girls and saw their way into third place. Red eyes to take advantage of poor defenseless ladies. Rippity back! You're a bunch of bats! Now in the lead, the comets enter a small town 50 miles from Paris. Come on, comets, let's pick up the pace. Yeah, pick them up and put them down. Yeah, pick up your feet and put down those bananas, Pudge. My feet are up, and I'm putting down the bananas as fast as I can, Wheelie. Give me those bananas and stop being a wise guy. Give me my bananas back. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, Pierre, you are truly the master of all smugglers. Ooh, but Pierre would be so clever as to smuggle the diamonds inside the bananas, eh? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Sacre bleu, look out! What happened? What an unfortunate but spectacular collision. Let's take another look on the Stop Action Instant Replay. Spectacular is right, Gabby. And now back to live action. Why don't you tourists watch where you're going? Gee, we're sorry, mister. Come on, you guys. Everybody's passing us. Lead on, Barnaby. Hey, that bush guy left one of his bananas. Hey, the 
these French bananas are groovy. They've got zippers on them. And they've got prizes inside of them. Real diamonds. Real diamonds? That's a funny place to find a diamond. But a very clever place to hide one. Pardon moi, monsieur. I am Inspector Jardin of the French police. And you are all under arrest for smuggling the diamonds. Smuggling diamonds? I got this banana from a pushcart man down the street. He's probably your smuggler. And Barnaby will catch him and prove we're innocent. I will? Very well. I give you two hours. If you have not proven your innocence by then, it is the Bastille for all of you. Come on, Comet. We got to catch that smuggler or we're out of the race. Well, me and my rivets will say that they never catch the man. And the dusty bastards will make double sure. And my scurvy crew will double cross them all. Oh, Nelly, the Comets will need a lot of luck to stay in this here race. Because right now, the other teams are well on their way to Paris. Okay, team, let's split and look for the smuggler. Pardon me, mister. Have you seen a man with a little black mustache like yours and wearing a funny little purple hat like you're wearing and pushing a push cart like you're pushing? No, no way, Mickey. Gosh, what a grouch. That was the smuggler, you dumb bunny. No wonder he was such a grouch. Faster, Comets. We've almost got him. Faster! Hut, hut, hut! Those Comets are hot on the smuggler's trail. But, uh-oh, there's trouble up ahead. Stand by to fire the barrel of Molossos. Get ready to activate missiles. Okay, Busters. Get ready with that high-pressure fire hose. Hut, hut, hut! Fire! Well, so much for catching him anyway. Follow that cab. Hot dog, the comets are finally headed for Paris. Let's hope they catch the smuggler. <laughs> we'll drop in ahead of the smuggler's cab with this look-alike cab and trick the comets into following us. Goes the smuggler's cab, and here comes the comets. We'll leave those comets so far off course, they'll never get to Paris. There he goes. What's the matter with you, Bill? Nothing. It's just that I ain't ever sailed a taxi cab before. That kooky cab, he's headed for a cliff. Don't have the anchor. Avast! We've beached the scow, and we're high and dry. Look, that's not the smuggler. It's the Yoho Hose. Yeah, they tricked us off the trail. Well, I suppose we'll have to be good sports and rescue those scurvy scoundrels. Yeah, because if we don't, no one else will. But how? It'll be simple with this rope in my tightrope walking skates. Sure, Barnaby. You can do it easily. I can? Have I ever lied to you? Uh, well, no. Well, then, take my word for it. You can do it. All set, Barnaby. Go, Barnaby, go! Steady as she goes, matey! I made it back in one piece. Well, the comets are back in the race. And following the real smuggler in the fire. And looky there, Gabby. The smugglers are headed for the Eiffel Tower. There he goes, into the elevator. Let's try to beat him to the top. They better hurry. They've only got a few minutes left. Go throw the master switch and we'll, like, have those cats trapped in the elevator. Right on, the stairs! Yikes! 
Those duster busters stranded us. Unless I can skate down the elevator shaft and turn on the switch, we're out of the race. No problem, Barnaby. We'll simply re-rig these pogo skates into shaft track skates. Quick, you two re-rig this skate while Sarge and I re-rig the other one. While the Comets are racing against the clock, the rest of their races are racing to find the clue. Finished. So are we. Oh, no, you goof-ups goofed up again. Gimme that. Both skates are supposed to look alike. Well, then let's make them look alike, Bunny. Okay. We're ready. We're, We're ready. ready. They did it again. Gimme that skate. I'll do it myself. Shaft track skates, ready to roll. Going down. Going up. You did it, Barnaby. Now they got that old smuggler for sure. Rat Gabby? Wrong, dude. The only thing for sure is there's only 30 seconds left. This way! This way! They never catch me! Charge! Charge! My compliments to you, Comets. You have captured the real smuggler. All five of you are to be congratulated. But there are six of us, Inspector. Hey, Bunny's missing. Oh, no! The crash sent her over the railing. Hang on, Bunny. We'll get you out of that dangerous spot. Oh, this isn't so dangerous. If it were, why would they put a telescope down here for people to look through? Telescope? I'll bet that's the clue. Let's have a look. What do you see, Barnaby? A travel agency with a poster in the window that says, Take Flight 22 from the airport at 222, and it'll take you skaters where you'll find the next clue. Come on, Comet. Let's skate a route of Flight 22. Flight 22, eh? Well, we'll clip those Comet's wings before they ever get off the ground. <laughs> Woo-wee! Bailey's Comets have retaken the lead. But who knows what skullduggery lies ahead? Well, Judy Roo, we'll just have to wait till next week to see. It's rolling and it's rocking and there's not much gonna stop them. It's the 6x6 high-riser Hercules with six-wheel drive and independent suspension. It's rocking and it's rolling and it's picking up the load. It's the 6x6 high-riser mammoth sold separately, ready for tough terrain and your toughest adventures. It's rocking and it's rolling, almost no place it's not going. Two AA batteries not included. The 6x6 high-riser Hercules and mammoth each sold separately from Ideal. We found a tough terrain and made it even tougher to find out just how much the 6x6 high risers could handle. With six wheel power drive and six wheel independent suspension, high risers keep going even when the going gets really tough. Batteries not included. Crunch Canyon playset sold separately. The 6x6 high risers with six wheel drive from Ideal. Control. M. Machine. A-C-M. Air control machine. The car you control with air. A-C-M. Air control machine. People stop and stare. Air control machine. You are in control. Shift it here and there. Air control machine. Steer it left and right. Air control machine. The car you control with air. A-C-M. A-C-M air control machine comes complete as shown from Buddy L. Airlandia, the Air Raiders Command Post prepares for the Tyrant's Dragon Wind attack. Hit it with everything we've got! Thunderclaw! Watch! Remote missiles! Flare! Hold on to your helmets, men! Air Air Raiders Command Post and Claw and Tyrant's Dragon Wind each complete with figures.
Animator brings drawings to life and life to your drawings. Batteries not included from Irwin. Up and hills, down and tails, as we hit the dusty trail, on the edge we go marching along. We are fed, we are boss, we've got guts to squish and squash, army and we go marching along. Army. Then it's high, high knee for the end Join the Army Gear, the Army in an Army. Open to reveal two worlds of battle action from Galoo. And now you can bring all the action of Batman home with the Batmobile, action figures, and more. Each item sold separately from Sharon Toy. Incredible Battle Chariot, the Ram, the Tiger, the Reindeer. Battle Beast. And in Battle Transport Vehicles that change into Battle Stations, the Beetle, Firebird, and Shark. Battle Beast. And to carry your army, there's the Bandolier. Let's battle! Wood! Fire! Fire Beast Wood! Battle Beast can grow into an army. Bandolier, Chariots, and Transports, each sold separately. Battle Beast. Battle Beast. Wood! Fire! Fire! Clutch poppers, each sold separately. New from Tonka. Psst, over here. I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. Oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. The name's Boglitz. You sold separately, and we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Feel their power. Watch them soar. Bone Age, where cavemen fight in dinosaurs, where Taro and Anklor battle to survive. Taro, convert to land attack. Anklor, convert for chase. Each sold separately. You can build fighters never seen before from the bones of these mighty dinosaurs. Bone Age. Convert to survive! Fire! Taro and Angkor sold separately with a caveman. Bone Age! Outlaw Scuzz's days in Fort Carrion Jail are numbered. The evil Tex Hex is planning a jailbreak. Now for the bank and all that Carrion. Break stars hawk like eyes. See the danger. Has the evil Tex Hex finally won? Or is Fort Carrium safe with Brave Star? Only you know the answer. Neutral Laser, Command Center, Bank Jail Set, and Figures each sold separately. Batteries not included. Some assembly required. Brave Star from Mattel. The Neutral Laser, awesome electronic weapon in the battle between Tex Hex and Marshal Brave Star. Brave Star! Now you've got the Neutral Laser and Neutral Laser Target, the weapon that really shoots invisible electronic beams to blast your enemy's target. But now, Tex Hex attacks. Look, he's on a neutralizer target. Can you and Brave Star blast it? Ah, awesome! Join the battle. Blast the outlaws with the neutralizer. New from Brave Star. Batteries not included. Toys sold separately as ever required. Fort Kirium, from fort to town to battleground. Brave Star. Fort Kirium, Marshal Brave Star's intergalactic town. 
Tex Hex is attacking the town. Laser fire Tex Hex shoots invisible electronic beams at the target. The bank explodes, but Brave Star strikes back and the town transforms into a fort. Oh, blast it! Brave Star hits the control. The wall falls. Fort Kirium, the fort that transforms into a space town with a bank, a band center, and Jane. New for Brave Star. Batteries not included. Toys sold separately as every required. The toughest lawman in the Western Galaxy. Marshal Bravestar, the only man who could stop Tex Hex, the evilest space outlaw ever. The biggest laser battle in space is about to begin. Get ready. Marshal Bravestar, Tex Hex, the neutral laser, and you. Blow open the town and blast off the outlaws with weapons that shoot invisible electronic beams. Awesome! Bravestar, coming soon from Mattel. Batteries not included. Toys sold separately. VTO, each sold separately from Buddy L. Burning key cars are fast. From the Burning Key Cars collection. Flashy sports cars, classics, rugged trucks, and racing rigs. All ready for power key action. Pushing those keys and give them a squeeze. You can run them and crash them. You can race them. Burning key cars. Yeah, with some key sports. There are 20 Vernon Key Cars, each sold separately. Vernon Key Cars come with a color-coordinated keychain. Each car sold separately. New from Kidco. Videotapes each sold separately from Captain Power and the Soul. <laughs> Terror and Strafer Attack. Max Ray calls Step Charger. Energize. Torpedo. Thrusters. Canopy Down. Dive. The Villains Trap Max. Energize. Mode 2. Hydromine. Missiles. Speed Thrust. Attack. Charger comes as shown. Figure sold separately. New from Kenner. Exciting adventures with the entire toy collection of Centurions from Kenner. Centurions! Power Extreme! And the Evil Hacker and Strafer attack. Ace McCloud calls Skybolt. Energize. Fuselage. Pulsated. Stabilizer. Launch. Strafer's behind. Fire. Energize to mode 9. Galactics. Missiles. Blaster. Attack. Centurions! Power! Machine. Skybolt comes as shown. Figures sold separately. New from Kenner. Jake Rockwell, Ace McCloud, and Doc Terror each sold separately. Come on, Robert, Jake! And there's this Let's do it! I name this Doc Terror Dale. Centurion! Take this! Energize the power New Centurions, Jake Rockwell, Ace McCloud, and Doc Terror come as shown, each sold separately. 
Switch on Charger Tron, robots like you've never seen. Switch on Charger Tron, supersonic machines. Rev the meter till it's red. Launch out the tracker. Switch on Charger Tron, now it's an attacker. Switch on Charger Tron, always changing, rearranging. He's surprising. He's disguising. Charger Tron. Charger Tron. There's Protagatron and Antagatron, each sold separately from Putty L. This is the claw, and you control it. C L A W, the controlled land action wagon. Batteries not included. Play people sold separately. The power shifter lets you control the speed, forward or reverse. Power steering lets you control direction. It climbs with ferocious front wheel drive that claws up hills and roars over the earth. The claw. And you control it. The claw with power shifter. Play people sold separately. New from Tonka. <laughs> You're looking at clutch poppers from Tonka, each sold separately. There's the new 4x4 Power Wagon with powerful four-wheel drive, the Turbo Racer with racy chrome trim, and the Scrambler Cycle, scrambling to win. Tonka clutch poppers are always revving, always revving, always revving to go. Clutch poppers, Turbo Racer, Scrambler Cycle, and new 4x4 Power Wagon, each sold separately from Tonka. Evil viruses are attacking the world's computers, and the computer warriors have been generated to stop them. A soccer trophy changes into an evil techno tank, forcing the computer warriors down. Hiding in a Pepsi can, the computer warriors fight back and deliver a direct hit. But the viruses keep coming, so the computer warriors convert a clock into a digital laser blaster and wipe out the virus air attack. Computer Warriors. Expect the unexpected. Each sold separately. Computer and pencil sharpener available for 1990. Only from Mattel. had fun this week uh i want a big shout out to jeremy garner and john lone patreons this week you guys are awesome thank you so very much uh i greatly appreciate it um i thank you this is awesome um you know we're, we're, we're gonna do something i got some stuff i'm working on i'm always working on something but i'm also always busy uh, if any of you guys know my shop, my shop is busy. Even if I'm dead, I'm 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 running ragged. Uh, 
I'm always buying collections, always buying magic, always buying comic books and stuff like that. Bought a huge comic book collection and vinyl collection this week. Uh, processing that. So I'm even behind on my stuff I need to take care of here. Um, so I'm legitimately filming this episode later than I would normally would. So it's chaos here. So I, I will I will do something for you guys. Thank you. Um, but that being said, I'm going to give you my spiel here. We got Group Therapy TV podcast every Monday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we have Sci Fridays every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you're watching it right now. Saturday morning serials at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also you can find us on the Monster Channel on Saturdays. We're running old episodes, so... I guess if you want to watch an old episode, but we're, we're here, so, yeah, you can, you can go either way. Have fun, man. Um, I try to drop in there from time to time and talk with everybody, just like I do when we run this live, uh, which is fun when I'm doing them both at the same time. I'm literally on my phone and on the computer at the same time, because I can't keep up. I need to slow down a little bit. Um... I do have a Halloween special planned. I'm working on that as we speak too. Uh, so I may drop a Sci Friday next week so I can work on the Halloween special. Um, so, you know, for Sci Fridays was never meant to be every week, but here we are, and I'm pounding out one almost every week. So, <clears throat> all right, everybody. Remember, I will be at the Jim and Dan comic book show tomorrow at the Wright State Student Union Center in Dayton, Ohio. You come visit me there. I'll be selling all kinds of stuff. I got a new van. Or a, a new van. I got an old van with a lot of room now so I can load up more stuff and drag it over there. And you guys can buy some of the new stuff I just bought to sell. Um, and the return of PickleCon. November 13th at the Miami Valley Center Mall, 10 to 4 p.m. Uh, we got vendors lined up, artists lined up, comic book creators. We even got the Batmobile coming. We have the Dayton Damsels. We got a lot going on. So you can check that out. You can find that under Pickle Comic Con on Facebook. Uh, you can also find me, Captain Cartoon, and... You find me on Twitter, Instagram, or, uh, Facebook. Uh, no, no TikTok, no Twitch, none of that stuff yet. So, because I'm old, I can only do so much. So, all right, people, I'm gonna let you guys go. No extra cartoon after the credits this week. Uh, I just want to do an old episode, bunch of older stuff, but we had fun with this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, it's like I said, pretty much chaos. I had no rhyme or reason to this week's episode, so I will talk to you all later. You all take care of yourselves. I love every one of you guys. You are so much fun. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, I have fun messaging you guys, talking to you guys on Saturdays. I know I don't always get up and, and ready because uh, I, I don't go to bed till super late at night. Um, usually I'm working on this stuff till real late at night because I work a job, do this, do my, take care of my kid and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to say adieu, bid you all a good night and take care. I'll see you all there.